Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study some problems that involve drawing triangles. My first problem is to draw an equilateral triangle. I will show you a method to draw it using ruler and compass. And I will start out by drawing one side for it. Let's say, for example, here. And now I will take the compass. Okay, in an equilateral triangle, all three sides are congruent. They have the same length. So, I will now draw a circle that has this as its radius. The third vertex of the triangle is, is somewhere here, but it is at the same distance from this point as this one is. So, it will be on the arc of a circle somewhere. And then we will do the same with this point. So, first I will put the center point of the circle here, and set the radius here, then draw an arc of a circle here. Then I'll do the same with this, like that. And now I simply connect these vertices. Okay, all done. A question though, can I draw many different equilateral triangles? The answer is, of course, yes, because in the beginning, when I chose the length of this side, I could have chosen it shorter or longer, okay? So there's an infinite number of different equilateral triangles. They all are similar, they all have the same basic shape. Here's some information that we're going to use to draw a triangle. But there's also the question, can we draw only one triangle with this information, or can we draw several different? A triangle with angles 35 degrees, 100 degrees, and 55 degrees. Okay, as you notice, it doesn't tell us anything about the side length. So again, I could just choose any, any length for, for example, this one side here, the bottom side. And then I will draw a 35 degree angle. Let's say 35 degrees would go over there. Here's 35 degrees. And now what? The next angle would be 100 degrees. It could be here, right? Or it could be here. Or I could use the 55 degree angle. Maybe put that one here. Let's see if that works. 55 degrees, yeah, over there. Yes, this is now 55 degrees. And now the triangle is already there, so this over here must be the 100 degree angle. But in the beginning, I could have chosen a longer side here, or a shorter one. So there are again an infinite number of these kind of triangles. When you're given the three angles for a triangle, it does not totally define the triangle. There's still many different ones. Okay, a triangle with 70 degree and 95 degree angles, and a 16 centimeter side between them. So this time we know two angles and a side between them. So let me start out by drawing the side right here and then drawing those two angles, 16 centimeters. And then 70 degree angle from here. And then 95 degree angle from, from this vertex. There. Now what happens is I have to continue these sides, but eventually they will meet in one point, right? So let's do that. There. There is only one, this kind of triangle. I cannot draw many different ones using this information. A triangle with 20 centimeter and 30 centimeter sides and a 60 degree angle between them. This time I know two sides and an angle. So I could start out by drawing one of the sides, then measuring the 60 degree angle that way, and then measuring the side here, right? And then see what happens. To me it looks like it will define the triangle because then I will have a vertex here, a vertex here, and then I just draw in the third side. So let's say I draw in, first of all, the, for example, the 30 centimeter side here. And then 60 degree angle there. 
okay? This was 30 centimeters, this was 60 degrees, and then I will measure the 20 centimeter side here. Okay, and so now I will draw in the third side and I don't have any choices. So there is only one unique triangle using this information. Now we are going to draw a triangle with three given sides, 20 centimeters, 25 centimeters and 14 centimeters. And for this I'm going to use the compass again in the same manner as I used here. But since it gives us the side lengths, I will first draw one of the sides here. Let's see the 25 for example. So that's 25 centimeters. And now to get the 20 centimeter side, okay, you, you think about it, we don't know the angle, so I cannot just draw it. Nor can I draw the 14 centimeter side here because I do not know which direction it is going to go. But I can use a circle. If I draw here a circle with 20 centimeter radius, then I know that the third vertex is somewhere on that circular arc. And then I'll draw another circle using this as a center and with 14 centimeters as a radius. Okay? There's going to be a circle and the third vertex is on that circular arc too. Wherever those two circular arcs intersect is the third vertex of this triangle. So as my compass, I need to set it to 20 centimeters, first of all. Okay, now the compass is set to 20 centimeters. Put the center here, draw an arc. And now the compass is set to 14 centimeters. And I use this as my center. And there, there will be the third vertex. And now just draw the sides in. Again, I hope you can see that this information defined a unique triangle. I could not have changed anything and gotten a different one. It's always going to be this kind. Now, okay, I could have changed that the 14 centimeters here and then the 20 centimeters here. But the resulting triangle would be like a mirror image of this one. It is actually congruent to this triangle. Lastly, a triangle with sides 25 centimeters, 14 and 7 centimeters. Let's try that. We're going to use the same technique. First I'll draw the 25 centimeter side here. And here's compass set to 14 centimeters. And then here's compass set to 7 centimeters. So what happened here? My circular arcs don't meet. So therefore, there is no triangle with this information. I'm going to write it here. No triangle. This 7 centimeters is too little, or this 14 is, is too small an amount. I would need to increase one or the other to become a bigger number. So I would get a bigger radius here or bigger radius here. So they would actually meet and I would get a triangle. So when you're given three numbers as side lengths for a triangle, then you will either get the one unique triangle or no triangle at all. Okay, we are now all done with this lesson.